What's up, y'all? It's Dante Bosco once again coming live from my living room. It's hot as hell in LA today, Beverly Hills, California. It's a uh, end of summer and it's hot. It's cr it's crazy hot and humid. But um, it's Tuesday and I want to drop a poem on you guys today. Today the poem um, I'm doing uh, is an old poem from my book Dante's Poetry Lounge. Um, this poem is actually called uh, My Favorite Poems and. Um, it, if people that have seen that movie, uh, Can't Buy Me Love, with Nick Cannon, um, and I do a cameo in the movie, where I actually drop a poem, and it's, you know, they edited this, this poem. This is the full-length version of the poem. Um, and it just, this is about uh, lessons I've learned um, in, you know, in, with relationships in my life and whatnot. So uh, it's a poem that I wrote a few years back, um, and, uh, you know, the last relationship poem I dropped, a lot of people that saw this were hitting, you know, that know my girl or hitting about my girl like they thought it was something in the present time. This is, again, this is another poem from my past. But I hope you dig it. It's called uh, My Favorite Poems. Check it out. My favorite poems are written for women that I've loved and for women that I've hurt. Amazing moments in my life and relationships that didn't work. The map of this human heart starts at the age of 15 when I lost my virginity. To a lady slightly older and like most younger boys, it was based on the many lies that I told her. Just to hold her and to show her I had so much to prove. Like I had more experience than she thought I knew and even though it wasn't true. It was amazing. But it ended because I did what most young boys do. Listen to the rumors and the lies of a fool which ultimately led to this poor girl getting socked in the jaw in the middle of school. And even though I didn't do it, I feel like I was the one to blame because the girl who hit her was a cousin of my man who was salting my game. And even now, looking back, I feel sort of ashamed. Next came a handful of one-night stands. In the back of my mind, I thought it might make me a man. Instead, I think it was an invite for the rest of my life to be damned. For, for further examination of my affairs between women and men. I mean, man, it gets stressful. I mean, don't get me wrong, it always starts special. But it seems to end in different grades with the least bit neglectful and at the most disrespectful. And then somewhere around the age of 19, it felt like I let go. See, that's when I fell for my first girlfriend, and it was like a whirlwind. I mean, do you remember when that you felt like if you did not see her today, that it would literally hurt you in a physical way? Well, that's how it was first time I fell in love. Shit, I drove to my pop's house in the middle of the night, woke him up, told him I got bit by the bug, and pops, he kind of just looked at me with a smile in his eye, as if to recognize that me, I was moving on to the next part of my life. See, that was the first girl that I made love to, to a point of tears. I can still hear her whisper in my ear that she can feel me melt into her when I'm deep inside her. What a statement like that. I know the feeling that she felt for me were not minor but major. And then I all of a sudden had this overwhelming feeling like I no longer wanted to date her. And it's not like I was trying to play her. I just knew in my heart that I could no longer stay there. And so that ended. As quickly as it started, and accusations of me being cold-hearted, and here I stand, guilty as charged, for it was dinner, Chinese food, and I just stopped and said, yo, I'm not into this no more, and she was silent, and then I hit it once more before I dropped her off at her front door, and, and why am I telling you this? Because recently I had the realization, or at least I've come to terms, that in my many relations there are many lessons that I did not learn. Even though I know I could have and I should have been a better man, instead I let her land flat on her face instead of helping her to land on her feet. Sometimes I ache for the company of a woman to make me feel complete. But that never works because before I could be happy with you, I gotta be happy with me. Now the God of me is looking at the man I be. Fucking with mass girls causing mass insanity with no thoughts of family, just simply recreation. And then I had the realization that the dynamic of man and woman is creation. And I'm not just talking about the creation of children, I'm talking about the creation of a feeling. Life, love, and dedication, which ultimately ensues to the creation of a better me, the creation of a better you. See, sex, sex at its best is creation. But at its least, it should at least be concentration. I mean, if I'm making love to you, I should be making love to you. You should be the first person that I see when I walk in the room. And now looking back at all that shit that I used to do, nowadays just don't seem cool. Now tell me what the fuck am I supposed to do? Then a wise man gave me a clue. He said the only way out is the way through. So there it is. Uh, my favorite poems. Um, and it, it actually, that particular poem is one of my favorite poems. 
Um, you know, crazy story about that particular poem. I remember back in those days, I was, I was, you know, dating. I was being a young guy around LA, around Hollywood, doing my thing, and um, you know, not the most uh, uh, monogamous guy. Let's just say that. And uh, the girl I was kind of like seeing at the time um, kind of stopped seeing me uh, because she heard me do that poem. After I wrote that poem, she was like, we can't do this anymore because, because of that poem. Um, which taught me a lot. Sometimes your own art, you know, sometimes you have to live up to your own art. You have, a, you have to live up to what you say, what you write. And uh, it, taught me, it taught me a big lesson and she taught me a big lesson. So, uh, in, in any case, you know, enough introspection for today. Hope you dug the poem. Thank you for watching. Uh, you can get the book, Dante's Poetry Lounge. It's in that book. Thanks for watching. Peace.